Hi there, everybody, and welcome back to more Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. In the last episode, we did a bit of exploring, battled our rival for a second time, and in this episode, we're gonna make our way through Viridian Forest, and already I see a Caterpie that's glowing. Uh, if I recall correctly, that means it's either tiny or big. In this case, the Caterpie's tiny. Uh, choose a berry from your bag to use it. I haven't shown that at all. I might as well show it to show that this is a thing. So here's a raspberry. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. We're gonna go ahead and throw our Pokeball. Great! I haven't been getting many excellence. I should probably try timing it better to get those excellence. I know it makes the the capture easier. It makes it more likely for you to get it. Um, Yeah, I should probably try aiming for those a bit more. And oh my god, so many leveling ups. Alright, registering Caterpie to the Pokedex. You know what? I haven't actually been, like, managing my party at all. I'm one... I'm gonna go ahead and switch some Pokemon around, because I definitely want that female Nidoran to be getting some stuff. Open Pokemon box, here we go. Yeah, I want that. I want this female Nidoran to start gaining EXP. So let's go ahead and swap out Spearow. We already have Pidgey. Don't, definitely don't need two flying types on the team right now. Um, I think that's good. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, looks like our Eevee's injured, so I'm gonna use that potion. Oh, I forgot to sell the pretty wing. Well, my bad. Uh, but I'll use this potion, use it on Eevee. Might as well. We're about to fight a trainer. I don't necessarily know if it's necessary, because it does seem these trainers are decently underleveled. Um, oh, that actually wasn't a battle. Nice, go me. Um, but yeah, we haven't, I don't know. This, I'm, I'm probably gonna try to explore Viridian Forest. I know there are like some items we can get. So I'm probably gonna explore this a bit, this area a bit. And if we do run into trainers, I hope they don't take too long. Like I was saying, they these trainers seem pretty underleveled earlier. Like our rival had a level three Pidgey just 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 a, a little just last episode. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Sweet, and already there's an item up here. Ooh, that Pidgey's guarding it. Right, sweet. Antidote. And yeah, this is- I, I- I know I've said it before, but I really like this. The fact that you could just run through this overworld and as you see Pokemon spawning, you could just avoid them. Like, <laughs> I really wanted that Pokeball, but I didn't have to fight a Pidgey to get to it. I just waited for it to walk around and bam. I do hope to see that in future Pokemon games. I think it's really cool. And registered Kakuna. So I, I wonder how evolution works in this game. Now that I, I know I just caught a Kakuna, but I do wonder how evolution's gonna work. Like, do I. Do I have an option to evolve my Weedle at all, or how does that work? I'm gonna go mess around with that a bit. See, see what's what's going on here. Um, it's like Eevee. Move from party. Move Pokemon. <gasps> we could change the name. We could change the name in the menu now. Whoa. Okay. I like that. I, I kind of said it about like the PC and. And what what else was it? Changing clothes? I like that they've put so many things that were normal. Whoa, hey Beedrill. I like that they put so many things that were normally go to a person or go to a location to do this feature. Now it's all just in one menu. Like even something as simple as naming your Pokemon. Like you always had to like, oh, uh, fly to the fly to the city where the name raider is and change the name from there. Now you could just literally do it in a menu and i think that's awesome like i never understood the excuse of having to talk to an npc to change your name the fact that you could just do it now in the menu that's really awesome i'm really happy that they added that um oh snap we're gonna forget some more. oh god but yeah now that now that everything's just contained in menus like it i guess it means you will be menuing a lot more than other pokemon games but at the same time, just the things they offer in the menu are really, really nice. I, l I like that a lot. 
Man, this game's cool. <laughs> I really hope it sets some kind of standard for future Pokemon games. And one weird thing I didn't point out is that this Beedrill was literally level, what, five was it? I think it was level five. Um, the fact that you could catch a Beedrill in the wild that's so under level, that's kind of wild. I, I'm not saying it's a bad thing by any means and ooh, okay, this is gonna be a tiny one. I'll probably cut this out because. All right, but yeah, uh, the fact that these evolution Pokemon are so underleveled in the wild is kind of hilarious to me. Like, how did how did this happen? <laughs> um, I mean, it's whatever. Uh, it seems that leveling up is very easy in this game, considering how much I've leveled up already. Like, it doesn't even look like there's an EXP share in this game, which... Again, like, just making it the default and not having the EXP share. On one hand, I can understand if some people don't like that, because I know some people turn EXP share off to, like, challenge themselves. When they're playing Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I know some people like to turn off the... And wow, that was a one-hit KO. I know some people like to turn off EXP share. It doesn't look like that's going to be an option in this game, which means leveling up is going to be extremely easy. And... Oh no, for a casual experience, I don't mind it, but I know I can understand if some other people don't like it. Wow, five Pokeballs. Yeah, this game is just throwing Pokeballs at you. Uh, <laughs> and eh, I like it. I think it's cool. There's also a Metapod there. I'm gonna have to catch that. Hey, do you have a Pikachu? No, I have an Eevee because I am playing Let's Go Eevee. <laughs> uh, I do have Let's Go Pikachu coming in the mail. I should say that. I should... I, I ordered both games because I'm, I'm, I'm just... It's always a tradition for me to always get both Pokemon games. I don't know if that's if that's known at all, but I always try to get both Pokemon games. Just because I'm a huge Pokemon fan, I call myself a Pokemon enthusiast even though I don't really know everything about Pokemon. But I love Pokemon so much that I always make an effort to get both games. I've been doing that since literally the beginning. Like, when I was a kid, my dad got me red and blue. He even got me green, funny enough, but like he, he had a trip to the Philippines. I don't know if it was a legitimate copy, but he also got me Pokemon Green at some point. Um, I don't have it anymore. Like my GBA, my, not even my GBA, my Game Boy games are gone. Uh, my dad ended up donating them because it was that weird situation where I was like eight years old. I'm not playing with the Game Boy games anymore, so he decided to donate them, which is why I don't have the Game Boy games anymore. So, red, blue, green, <laughs> funny enough. Silver, gold, crystal, I don't have those anymore, which I'm really sad about. I want to someday buy them myself so I could just have them in like my collection. But, I don't know, as I was saying, I always make an effort to get both Pokemon games. I got Fire Red Leaf Green, I got Ruby Sapphire, I got Emerald, I got Diamond Pearl, I got, I have all of them. So, as per the tradition, I bought Let's Go Eevee digitally, and I bought Let's Go Pikachu physically, because one, I wanted the Pokeball Plus, so I did get the Pokeball Plus bundle, um, and two, I might end up buying Let's Go Eevee a second time, just so I could have it physical next to all of m all of the Pokemon games I have, because like I said, I always try to get both of them. I don't... I, n I know a lot of people also try to do that. I know some people like always give me the weird looks like, why do you need both of them? There's only minor differences, blah, 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 blah. I just, I don't know. I just love Pokemon enough to always try to get both versions. And I don't necessarily always play both versions unless I really like the game or if I feel like replaying a game. Like I remember I loved X so much that I immediately played Y after I finished X. Like that was People who've seen like my Let's Plays, they know how much I love Generation 6. Again, I love Serena. It's it's where it's where the namesake comes from. Um, but also, I just... I don't know, I, I like that game so much, so I was kind of happy to have both games at that time. And I don't know, if I really enjoy Let's Go Eevee, I'm hoping that I could end up like replaying it in... Replaying this game again in Let's Go Pikachu, because... Just the animations alone, seeing Eevee act all cute and stuff, I I already want to play this game a second time, but I want to see what Pikachu's animations are like, because they, they had to have given Pikachu just as much personality as as they've given Pikachu, or Eevee. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to end up playing Let's Go Pikachu when that comes. But also, 
um, when that when that does show up in the mail, it should. I I have. I, I bought it off Amazon Prime, whatever. Oh, not endorsing Amazon Prime by any means, but uh, it should come in the mail in the morning. I'm actually recording this Let's Play at 9 p.m. the 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 day the game came out, quote unquote, the day came out. Uh, it came out. I'm on the I'm on the West Coast, so this game came out at, on midnight in the East Coast. But because I'm on the West Coast, it came out for 9 p.m. for me. So I'm actually playing this game at around 9 p.m. Um, and I'm not gonna get Let's Go Pikachu until the morning. So when I do eventually get that, I don't know how many rec episodes I'm recording tonight because my God, it's getting late and I'm kind of sleepy. I had a long school day today. Um, I but yeah, when 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 that come when I get that in the mail, I'm probably gonna like switch over to the Pokeball Plus because I really want to see how this game plays with the Pokeball Plus. I've tried the Pokeball Plus at a demo event. There was like a caravan demo event. I, I don't remember. I think they just called it a road trip uh, event, and they they had le demos in San Francisco. I went there and played them, and I had a lot of fun with them. Uh, they made you play with the Pokeball Plus, and I enjoyed it so, so much. But at the same time, I didn't see... I didn't get to try doing certain things with the Pokeball Plus. The thing about the Pokeball Plus is that there's two buttons, I think? One giant button at the top, and one button that the, you could press the control stick in, like most controllers these days. And then there's the control stick. Um... But obviously, we're playing this game, we're using, like, the A button, the X button, there- I remember say, saying something for a Y button, like... There's more than two buttons for this game. I honestly thought that this game was gonna be, like, a very simple game where you only needed two buttons, but it looks like there's more buttons than... than... than normal, so I wonder how that's going... going to work. So I'm really looking forward to getting that Pokeball Plus in the morning, but for now, for the first, like, Four episodes of this LP, I'm just using a Joy-Con. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully that comes in soon. The benefit of me buying, of me cashing out for for both versions is that I will be getting that Joy-Con Plus or that Pokeball Plus, I guess. Um, I wonder what other Pokemon. Oh my gosh, there's so many Pokemon popping up. I wonder if there are any other Pokemon we could encounter. I've already encountered quite a bit, but I haven't, I haven't seen like. A Bulbasaur, that random NPC, I didn't read the dialogue, but that ra that random NPC was like, I wonder if you could catch uh, Bulbasaurs in this forest, and I honestly wonder that too, because I know you can get the starters in this game, and I wonder how I would go about getting them. Like, I haven't seen them anywhere yet. I, want, I honestly wonder if you could catch a Pikachu. This is Viridian Forest, for crying out loud. You're normally able to catch Pikachu in here. Um... I don't know, we'll see. I might roam around Viridian Forest a little bit off-camera, or at least I will and just edit it out for the, for the Let's Play, but I do want to see if I could find other Pokémon. I want to see if I could catch a Pikachu, because why not? It's Pikachu. I'd love to have a Pikachu on my team, even if just temporarily. Uh, and I want to see if I can find the Bulbasaur. They're probably very low spawn rates. Lower than that B drill I saw, because <laughs> that that caught me off off guard. I did not expect to see random wild B drill in this game. So I don't know. When once I reach the end, I'll probably do a quick cut forward to see if I run into something else like a Pikachu or a Bulbasaur. I'd love to see a Bulbasaur. Hello. Oh oh hello. I guess some random encounters can still catch you by surprise as they literally spawn right in front of you. So you kinda keep the traditional random encounter thing if that small instance possibly ever happens like that. I don't know, we'll see. Again, I, s I, I love that these Pokemon are just in the overworld. The fact that I don't have to... The fact that I could run in the grass and not worry about anything is so cool. Like, I wonder what- I wonder if there are repels in this game, now that I think about it. If the- I- I picked up a random item called Allure just now. I don't necessarily know what it is, but I assume it's like the- the lure modules in Pokemon Go. Like, that's my assumption. Um... But I wonder if there are repels. Ironic that- 
ironic that there there's the opposite of repel in this game. Like there's lure that that gets po that brings Pokemon towards you. I assume that's what it does. That's what the lure module did in 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 Pokemon Go. You know, I'm gonna give it a try. We did pick up. We did just pick up a lure. I don't necessarily. <gasps> Pikachu, hello, and you're going red. Whoa. Does that mean it's big? I think it means it's big. It's a female Pikachu too. How cute. Encountered a wild Pikachu. All right, I'm ready. I want to catch it. I know it's only level four, but I want it. And there I go again, not timing my throws. So, but hopefully, hopefully I catch it. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, All right, I'm going to use a berry. I'm going to use a raspberry, make this a little easier. And I'm going to try to time this throw this time. And go. Oh, he jumped. No, the Pikachu jumped. I tried so hard. <laughs> oh, it's okay. We caught we caught the Pikachu. It's fine. I I think it goes without saying. I'm also not good <laughs> at playing Pokemon Go. Um, I know Let's Go is supposed to be way easier than Pokemon Go as far as catching goes, but I don't know. Whenever it comes to like these things, I've I always find myself waiting too long, and by the time I throw it, I'm like aiming for the perfect throw, and by the time I throw it, it's just like, well, <laughs> they jumped. <laughs> um, Alright, we are at the end. Uh, let's give that let's give that lure a try real quick. I want to see what it does. Um, there we go. Lure. A glass bottle of perfume that makes rare Pokemon more likely to appear. For how long? A mysterious scent spreads around you. All right, rare Pokemon are gonna are more likely to appear now. Pikachu, there's another Pikachu. Speaking of Pikachu, I want to put Pikachu on my team. Um, uh, Pokemon box. Pikachu. Move. Oh, who do I want to replace? I guess I'll replace Rodata. Oh, I, I moved it. Oops, I meant to add the party. <laughs> Alright, replace Radata. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and cut ahead to see if I find anything interesting. Uh, so, Fang Shaman and Editing, go ahead and cut ahead. To see... Uh, mostly, mostly to see if there is, like, a Bulbasaur or something that shows up. Or I guess a level 7 Pikachu? That's awesome, too. Probably gonna replace the one in my, in my party now. <laughs> Um, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and cut ahead to... If I find a Bulbasaur, cut ahead to that. If the lure module runs out, cut ahead to that. If I give up entirely, cut ahead to that. <laughs> um, we'll see how it goes. <sighs> I'm starting to think this lure was a mistake because all these Pokemon are just... Oh my gosh, they're still spawning. Oh my goodness. All right. The lures effect wore off. All right. Uh, I'm back. I feel like this might have been a mistake. <laughs> There's so many Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try catching some of these because it does look like the Pokedex records Pokemon by their size. So I want to I want to go ahead and... Oop. Hello. That's a wasted Pokeball. I want to go ahead and try catching Pokemon if they're like glowing and if they're different sizes. Just... just set data in the Pokedex, I guess. I don't know why they they implemented the large and small from Pokemon Go. I'm, I'm not necessarily against it. And it does incentivize you to catch more of the same Pokemon. And it does look like this game has a feature similar to Pokemon Go where you could send your Pokemon to the professor. Let's go ahead and try that. Um... I already caught some duplicates off camera. Um, let's let's send this Kakuna, for example. We could send it to the professor, which I assume gives us gives us candies or something. It has to give us something. Uh, I can't read six. I'll get rid of this one. Um, let's go ahead and send these two. So why not? Pokemon have been sent to the professor. Got a message back from the professor. Thanks for sending along those Pokemon. They will help a good deal with my research. That's it. I think you earned some candy for all... <laughs> it's Pokemon Go. <laughs> it's, it's basically Pokemon. Ooh, tough candy and health candy. That's not Pokemon Go. So, send me two Pokemon. That's a great 
<laughs> You're a great aid to my work, Santa. So do keep sending me more Pokemon. Cool. I like that. Um. Oh, we could sort this. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and start sorting these by Pokedex number, just for for future future use and looks. Yeah, there we go. All right. So didn't quite see a Bulbasaur. I didn't. I don't know if you could even find them here, but it doesn't look like I ran into one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, scooch my way out of here. All right. Later, guys. Hello, who are you? You are a fancy dressed character. The higher Pokemon CP is, the higher its combat power is. I hear CP is a value made up of various stats and things combined. Whoa. I never did understand CP in Pokemon Go. I assumed it's just a way to determine how strong your Pokemon are. Like, I don't know if there is like an actual like mathematical formula or anything that determines what your CP is. But from the looks of it, at least in this game, um, your CP is determined by by the stats. Like as you can see here, it says CP 164, it, and we have like this meter or this graph for all your stats. So it's kind of a weird combination of both normal Pokemon and Pokemon Go, which is cool. I like it, that's cool. I know they say you can't send Pokemon from this game to Pokemon Go, so I wonder how the CP, like, applies to this game. I don't know how necessary it will really, really be. So there's a Pokeball there. I wonder how I get that. Um, and here we are in Pewter City. Already made it this far. Well, hey, hi, Spark. <laughs> hey, nice. I was hoping we'd run into each other here. You know there's a Pokemon gym up this way, right, Serena? You can battle against the gym leader there, and he's seriously strong. If you want to get stronger, you've definitely got to try to take him on. Ah, jeez, Eevee. You're, you're ready for a good battle too, huh? Who wouldn't be? Alright then, you're making me want to cheer you guys on too, so take these. Five potions, sweet. I'm probably gonna heal at the Pokemon Center. Might as well, I'm here, in Pokemon Center. I know I kept saying like, there's a chance I'm not gonna be using Pokemon Centers nearly as frequently, but I'll use a Pokemon Center for now, just to heal up and get my PP back. Actually, now that we're here, let's go ahead and see if they- Ooh, hello! Are they holding Nintendo Switches? They are holding Nintendo Switches. I'm trading Pokemon with the girl next to me. I had two Pikachu, so I figured I might as well trade one. Are they real Pikachu or are they like- are they video game Pikachu? I really want a Pikachu, so I'm trading my Clefairy for one. Pewter City Specialty. Pewter Crunchies, they're 500. You're limited to one package per day, though. Sure, I want some. I want some Pewter Crunchies. <laughs> nice, I wonder... That's gonna go into our medicine pocket. Okay, I thought it was gonna go into our candy pocket, for example, because it does sound like a type of candy. What's up? Hello. What? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon? Huh? I'm on the phone. Scram. Oh, sorry. Sorry to disturb you. <laughs> Yuta City Gym Leader Brock is a Rock-type Pokemon user. Rock-type Pokemon are weak to Grass and Water-type moves. If you don't pay attention to type matchups, you can't defeat the Gym Leader. Alright, so I guess I'll keep that in mind. I do have Eevee with Double Kick, and Fighting Types, last I checked, are good against Rock-types, so I think that'll be fine for, for the time being. Alright, so I'm probably gonna spend the rest of this episode exploring the city, might as well. Be careful with your mind, don't go blowing it on one place, but it's also fun sometimes to buy a whole bunch of Pokeballs at once. <laughs> oh, that's definitely true. Um, I wonder if they're like random items just scattering around, like... I wonder if Eevee is still able to like, find items for us? Or I guess, I guess, since we can have other Pokemon running besides us, I should probably have a different Pokemon running next to me. Let's see if I can do that. I haven't quite figured out how to make Pokemon run next to you. Take out a Pokeball. It's literally a button. It's it's literally a button that I didn't notice until now. it's literally a button. <laughs> oh, now I could say at the beginning of my episodes, hey everybody, welcome to Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. I got both of them here with me. And oh my God, I love that Pikachu just runs in front of you. Yeah, Pikachu just dashes ahead in front of you. I guess I guess the the way Pokemon follow you depends on the type of the of them. Like I guess they have like personality of them. I love that Pikachu just runs ahead of you. 
I know like certain like big Pokemon you could ride them as we've seen. I like this. This is cool. Did you know what I'm doing? Uh, no. I assume repel. Oh, I'm spraying lure around to get wild Pokemon to come visit my flower beds. Oh, okay. Demonstrating lures, I guess. Are you the repel guy? Uh, I I don't know what you're doing. What's up? Spraying repel around. You are the repel guy. Yay! They kept him. <laughs> I like that they separated the flower beds into two now to show two different mechanics. Check out the museum already? No. Really, you absolutely have to go. Okay. Probably check that out soon-ish. Hey, hiker. Ah, it's so refreshing. Pewter City stays lovely and cool since it lies at the base of the mountain. Um, I don't think I'll need any items right away. I'll go ahead and try to see if, if there's anything I need. <laughs> Did that guy just get ripped off by someone for a magic harp? Let me read that again. Shady guy suckered me into buying this weird Pokemon. It's totally gonna cost me a bunch of- Aw, man. I wonder if we could buy a magic harp later. Alright, I didn't see anything I particularly needed, so I didn't do much there. Hello. This is my sweet little Freya. When she walks me, she sometimes finds items on the field. Hi, Fre. Uh, I, I wanted to talk to Fre. What's up, Fre? Free! <laughs> Aw, that's cute. So I guess in order for Pokemon to find items, they have to be following you. They can't just... I guess Eevee's not going to be doing it for you anymore is what I mean. Which, I liked it when Eevee was doing it, but I guess Pikachu can do it too. Picking up the slack on Eevee, Pikachu, good job. Got a better chance to catch Pokemon if you throw a Pokemon right, right in the center, but catching Pokemon is never a sure thing. Pokemon learn new moves as they grow, but some moves must be learned by TMs. Okay, cool. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Happy to know that TMs are still in this game. I, I wasn't actually quite sure if they would be, but I'm happy to hear that they are back. Um, let's see what I can do if I can go past here. Hey kid, you're a trainer, right? Box looking for new challengers. Follow me. Alright. Are we gonna- Whoa! <laughs> Did we just teleport? Whoa, okay. That was a really cool transition. I am all for that. That was a really cool transition. If you think you've got the right stuff, you should take on Brock. Alright, I'll, I'll do that, but I still have a bit more of the city to explore around, and I'll probably end this episode as soon as I'm done, like, talking to everyone, seeing what's 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 up with the city. Hey, lady. Oh dear, what am I supposed to do with you, Slowpoke? Oh, hello there. Do you think you could do me a favor? Sure. I want to go to the Pewter Museum, but my dear Slowpoke here is just refusing to budge. Boom. Do you think you can keep an eye on my dear Slowpoke for a while? For a little while? Sure! Oh, thank you very much. In that case, please keep my dear Slowpoke company for a little while. Specifically, a little while. Not too long, only a little while. At some point I just leave and she was like, Where did you go? I was like, it's been a little while. <laughs> Slowpoke is staring blankly ahead. You spent a relaxing time with Slowpoke. I admit it, I'm very relaxed right now. Thank you, Slowpoke. I enjoyed this time with you. Thank you for keeping an eye on dear Slowpoke. Here, this is for your trouble. A big pearl? Sweet, we could sell that. I would love it if you could keep an eye on Slowpoke again sometime. How about now? I'd love you to keep an eye on Slowpoke again so I guess... No, mm. I'll check back tomorrow. Maybe it's like a daily thing you can do. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and check this. I'm pretty sure this episode has been running for a very long time. Um, but we're gonna go, go ahead and explore this museum, and then I'll likely end the episode. It should be great for my long life. Never did I think I'd get to see the bones of a dragon. It's not really a dragon, that's an Aerodactyl. What's up? This is Kabutops. Another Aerodactyl. Oh, an ancient Pokemon. Oh, it's just a replica. Alright, sweet. Nothing much on the first floor. I do wonder if there's anything, like that we could find here. They, we paid money to be here. Granted, it was only 50, but we paid money to be here. There has to be, like, something we can get from an NPC, right? Something? Anything? Maybe we could find something on the floor? Hi, Pikachu. What do you think of that chair? <laughs> Pikachu's throwing all things. Oh, that's cute. 3D hologram. And it has the title, A Map of the Universe. Hey, girl. I'm not necessarily looking at you, but you're still talking to me. <laughs> this is a very awkward pose. Oh, you want an Eevee? Sure, all you get one for your daughter. That's cute. Hey, you're Eevee. No, it's too attached to you. I can never tear apart such a bond. Hey, hey, hey. I wouldn't even consider it. I never would 
trade this EV to you. Yeah, actually, that's weird. What the heck? Uh, when you interact with something, your trainer, like, um, sticks, like, points to it. I guess we can't sit on chairs. Lame. Um, but... Yeah, like, I autocorrect to looking at these people. And I, like, autocorrect to look at this. How come when I talked to that girl, I was, like, awkwardly, like, looking in this direction and... <laughs> Why won't it autocorrect? Well, I guess it's- I guess she's not necessarily talking to me. She's just saying, I want that EV. So that's a cute, like, attention to detail. Cause she isn't specifically talking to me. She's just saying she wants that EV. So the fact that I don't look at her- Oh, that's- I don't know why I'm impressed by that. It's just a cool little detail. Um... But, well, I guess that's the end of this episode. Uh, we, we went through Viridian Forest, we explored Pewter City. Uh, next time on Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, we're going to- <laughs> I love that idle animation so much. Next time on Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, we are going to challenge the gym. I will see you guys then.